isn't it? Yes. Jo right, Joe Hill. Joe Hill was a young Swedish lad who his parents died when he was about 19 and he moved to America with his brother in the belief that the streets were paved with gold, which of course they were. Um, he got a decent job out there, but wasn't happy with the uh, working conditions. So he started forming a, a sort of union, getting people together to join him in approaching management for better terms. They sacked him and he finished up becoming an itinerant labourer. Uh, his real name was Joel Emmanuel Haskard, I think it was. Um, but anyway, he uh, became an itinerant labourer and he became the leader of the labourers in the States, um, who of course in, that, in those days were nearly all African Americans. Uh, so he became, um, as well as a union leader, he became a civil rights activist. Um, the establishment uh, wanted to get rid of him and when someone in the house where he lived uh, was accused of a murder and arrested, when they found that Joe Hill lived in the same house, they let the guy go who was suspected of carrying out the murder and instead they framed Joe Hill for it. And he was put in a firing squad and shot. And his last words were, don't warn me, organise. And that was the start of a very big uh, international union of labouring labourers. When was this? 1940 something? Hmm? 1940 something? Sorry? When was this? 1940s or 50s? He was born in, in the late uh, 19th century. Yes. Um, he preceded um, Paul Robeson yes. by about 15 years, I think. Um, he, was, he was executed by firing squad at the age of 36. In 1950? Awesome. Maybe about that time or uh, Someone wrote a song about uh, um, Joe, Joe Hill and that song was Paul Robeson's favourite. Everybody thinks that Old Man River was, but it wasn't. It, he had misgivings about that because uh, the words of Old Man River, the original words that he was supposed to sing, um, perpetuated the acceptance of slavery. All right. uh, so he changed the words from, I'm tired of living and scared of